Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to, if you have game on Steam, try launching. You can install and launch the game from EA app or maybe Epic Games Launcher. So if you have the game on Steam, you can install EA app. You can search for the game, install it, and then try to launch it from here. If you can even try to use Epic Games Launcher, you can install it and then launch the game. And if you and vice versa. So if you have the game on EA app, you can use Steam to launch the game. Now the next step is to enable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam if you have the game on Steam, and then click on Steam. Sorry, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to the general tab. If enable Steam overlay while in game, if this is off, turn it on. If this is grayed out, like in that case, go to Steam, go to settings, go to in game and make sure enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on off turn it on and then you can go to game and then turn on the steam overlay and if enable is not working you can even disable it and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now this has worked for many players so you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description download this x86 and x64 Click on it. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on install. If you see installed, and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to repair, update, uninstall or reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can go to EA website. The link is provided in the video description. And over here you can see EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Click on it and then run this exe file. Now run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then over here, select skate. Scroll down. Here you can see skate, select it, and then click on repair. Click on OK, and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in Steam, you can go to Steam location if you have the game on EA Games. So go to the game installation folder. You have to select the complete skate folder, and then click on select folder. And let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, you will see install success at the end. Once you see install success, you can launch the game again and then check. This may take some time and here you can see install success. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again select skate over here and then click on update. And once the update is done, during this update, your EA anti-cheat setup may restart and once you see update success, now you can launch the game. Still not working, select skate once again and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, uh, once the uninstall is success, click on install. Now, once the install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can select skate once again. This time uninstall it. Do not install. You can just uh, launch the game. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will install EA Anti-Cheat. If that does not work, you can go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed, and then open installer folder, EA Anti-Cheat folder, and then open this EA Anti-Cheat, click on yes to allow, and then click on over here, you will see uninstall all option highlighted over here. So click on uninstall, this will uninstall EA Anti-Cheat for all the EA games. So click on uninstall all, and then once you see uninstall, once you do that, now relaunch the game. Now click on yes to allow and let the installation, this will reinstall EA anti-cheat and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is complete, launch the game and then check. Now, if you have the game on EA app, in that case, you can click on manage over here and then you will see the repair option. In my case, the game is launching right now. Let me close it. And then you will see, and now you can go to manage over here. 
and you will see the repair option and then you can check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option now for this you can go to steam if you have the game on steam make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can type in dash dx12 over here and then launch the game and then check still not working remove this over here and then for ea app users uh, just ignore this error because i closed the game in between now go to properties over here type in dash dx11 click on save launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename skit folder in this location create a backup first because you will lose all the saved settings and the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder find skate folder and then you can rename it create a backup so copy this folder first and then you can go to desktop and then you can create a backup once you have a backup created over here now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename and then rename this folder once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to once you launch the game uh, like as soon as you hit the play button you can go to any browser just alt tab and go to browser and once the game it, it may take some time once the game is up you can alt tab back to the game now the next step is to clear steam cache now for this you can go to steam if you have the game on steam click on steam settings and then go to downloads and then click on clear cache and then click on confirm and once that is done now you can check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate from like for example if you have 240 hertz monitor in that case you can lower down monitor refresh rate to 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz you can even go to windows settings and go to system go to display and then scroll down go to advanced display and over here you can select 60 hertz and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to uninstall codec pack for media player so if you're using any codec application you can uninstall it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is close obs so if you're running obs uh, close it unplug razor tartarus disconnect key cron keyboard if you have connected any kind of dongle connected to the computer disconnect it now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program i'm using windows security so if you're using windows security go to windows settings privacy and security windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browser apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed on steam then you can open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add and allow app browser apps select this exe file click on open again click on add and allow app browser apps open installer folder ea anti cheat folder select this exe file click on open if you have the game on e app then you then you can go to this pc c drive ea games and then program files and then ea games and then you will find the game folder do the same thing add this one this one and installer and uh, under inside installer add the e installer e anti cheat installer add it launch the game and then check now the next step is to now if you if you're using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using do the same thing add all the three exe files next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so if you have the game on steam make a right click manage browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder if you have the game on e app manage view properties open folder and then once you go to the game installation folder select the skate folder make a right click go to properties go to install uh, this tab and then put a check on the box which is run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again this time you can select windows 8 over here and then hit apply and then click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply 
click on OK, follow the next step. Now for this, you can you can even try to launch the game using this exe file. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run EA app update. Now for this, first of all, close EA app. Type in EA app in Windows search box. Make a right click on EA app. Open file location. And then here you can see EA updater. Make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And let this complete. This may take some time. So if there is any update, uh, let let this complete. And once this is done, it will close automatically. And then you can check. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. And once this is done, it will close automatically. And then you can check. If that does not work, you can run this EA app updater. Again, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then you can check. And this will also do the same thing. If there is any update, uh, let the process complete. And once this is done, it will close automatically and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can run this e, uh, app recovery. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And when you run as administrator, it will uh, you will receive an option, clear cache option. So um, actually, in my case, the updater was running. So that's why I received this error. Now you can make a right click, run as administrator, click on yes. And then if you see the clear cache option, hit clear cache. So you have to perform the process one by one. Actually, I am doing it continuously. That's why it's taking time. Here you can see clear cache. Now you can click on it and this will relaunch the e app and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, click on and then click on find over here. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver at the top, the GeForce Game Ready driver. Click on view and then click on download. And then once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK, and then click on agree and continue, and then select custom option, and then click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows. Now, for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and then you can check. The next step is to disable daemon tools. So if you have this tool running, uh, first of all, make a right click on the start menu, go to task manager. If you find daemon tools application running in task manager, you can close it. In my case, I don't have daemon tool running. If you find daemon tool running, make a right click and then click on end task. This is just an example. Uh, you, you have to make a right click on this daemon tool and then you have to close it and disable it in the device manager make a right click go to device manager and over here expand universal controller over here uh, sorry storage controller and then you will see daemon tool make a right click and then you, you will see disable option in my case it is already disabled expand universal serial bus controller make a right click again you have to disable it and then you have to relaunch the game if you have any other application like rewsd running close it ds4 close it auto hotkey razor synapse razor so any kind of razor software you can close it corsair icu running anti face it anti cheat riot vanguard logitech if you have these application running close it and then make sure that you end the process in task manager also if you find it in device manager end it if you find xvdd sc si mini port uh, in device manager, then you have to make a right click and disable this XVDD SI mini port. If you find it over here, make a right click and disable it. Daemon tool we have already done. Corsair bus in device manager. If you find it, disable it. If not working, you can even uninstall these application. Uh, and the troubleshooting is not limited to this application. If you find any 
third party application which you find suspicious close that application and disable it in device manager if you have vlc codec wallpaper engine msi apps and the service in the task manager and then disable it in the device manager perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services first make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now if you have these application zapred crypto pro punk buster you can uninstall it remove it from your computer if you have goodbye application running uninstall it drop top rain meter close the, these application if you have any third party mouse and keyboard application like corsair um, icue software just close it if you have 3x software app close it game companion running close it if you have if you have scan any product from scan if you find menu.exe uh, in task manager uh, you can just make a right click and then end the service for this if you have any kind of like uh, wipes vr software or wipe port running it's hidden somewhere over here make a right click and then you can close it this is just an example close all the third party application from here and then you have to end the service in task manager now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect external keyboard any kind of external keyboard if you have connected uh, it may be wireless it may be wired uh, keyboard you can disconnect it and then launch the game and then check disconnect extra controller connected sometimes we have extra dongle connected to the computer disconnected turn off vpn close all the overlay application like if you have discord running geforce nvidia shadow play any any third party application close it do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revert tuner if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel